Hey, what's up everybody? It's Brian Dean from Quick Sprout. And in this video, I'm going to go over Google AdWords quality score, what it is and how you can optimize it. And this is really important because the success of your Google AdWords campaign will largely revolve around your quality score. So the first thing you want to do is check your quality score to see where you stand. So to do that, log into your AdWords account and click on campaigns then click on the keywords tab. And this will show you the keywords in that specific campaign and within that ad group. Now, what you wanna do is hover over this little box here and this will show you your quality score. So as you can see, quality score is determined at the keyword level. So each keyword has an individual quality score that is independent of the others. Although a lot of people in the AdWords community feel like there's an account-wide quality score that's factored in, but that's not official. So as you can see, quality score is rated on a one to 10 scale, 10 is best, one is worse. And the lower it is in general, the more you will pay for clicks and the higher it is, the less you'll pay for clicks. And your quality score is made up of three main factors. The click through rate that you get on your ads for that keyword, the ad relevance and the landing page experience. I'm going to go over what all of those need and how you can optimize each one. So first let's talk about the expected click through rate and what that is. It's the percentage of people that click on your ad for that keyword. So for people that search for health insurance, if a hundred people search for this keyword and three people clicked on your ad, that's a 3% click through rate and a higher click through rate, the better your quality score is. And that's actually the most important part of quality score. So if you want your quality score to be high, you want ads that generate a lot of clicks for the keywords that you're targeting. The next factor that influences quality score is ad relevancy. So when you look at your ad relevancy as it says average, below average or above average, that represents according to Google, how relevant your ad is for that particular keyword. So what you want to do is look at that keyword and then click the ads tab and look to see how those ads relate to that keyword. So for someone searching for, let's say white hat SEO techniques, does this ad really speak to exactly what they're searching for? Well, obviously not because it's below average, right? So even though the ad talks about white hat SEO, which is part of the searcher's query, it doesn't specifically address the techniques. So that's why this was rated below average. So if I was to change this ad and actually speak to specific white hat SEO techniques, that would increase my ad relevancy. So you want to make sure that you have an ad specifically for each high volume keyword in your campaign. So the last part of quality score is your landing page experience and landing page experience is exactly what it sounds like, which is the experience the user will have when they click on your ad and end up on your landing page. And in general, the more targeted your landing page is for that particular keyword, the better your landing page experience score will be. So now that we've gone over all three factors that factor into quality score, it's time to show you how to improve and optimize each one. So for expected click through rate and ad relevance, you first want to look at what your ads look like in Google to give you an idea of why your click through rate and your ad relevance may not be doing so well. And the best way to do that is to click on ad preview and diagnosis. And what this tool does is it shows you a preview of how your ads will appear in Google search results which is important because you don't actually want to search for your keywords in Google just to look at your ads because unless you click on it, it's actually going to make your click through rate worse because that's an actual search, right? So enter a keyword that you're targeting, click on preview. And then what you want to do is look at your ad, which is highlighted in green. Now, if your click through rate is low, it may be because your ad copy, you know, isn't that compelling. So what you want to do is look at some of the other sites that are advertising for that keyword and see how well they're doing. And although you can't get insider information about their performance, you can probably tell that ads that are in the top three in this specific area above the fold probably have a good quality score because unless they're paying an arm and a leg, Google isn't going to put them here. So what you want to do is look at their ad copy and see what parts you might be able to incorporate. And it's the same story with ad relevancy. So someone searching for the keyword white hat SEO techniques might be seeing different ads that target their query more specifically or in the organic results 
they also might have really good relevancy. So what we wanna do is look at the ads and the organic results and see what kind of copy they're using that might be generating them clicks. So once you have some of this competitive analysis and also information about how your ad actually appears, it's time to go back to your account and incorporate this information into your campaigns. So what you wanna do is click on campaigns to go back to your campaigns manager, click on the ads tab, and then incorporate any copy that you saw in the paid or organic results into your ad and see if they increase click-through rate. And you can do that by testing two or three ads against each other and seeing which one gives you the best click-through rate. So when you have more than one ad within an ad group, AdWords automatically displays both of them randomly so you can see which one performs better in terms of click-through rate and conversion. So what you wanna do is test multiple ads against each other, see which one has the highest click-through rate, keep that one, delete the one with the low click-through rate, and then create a new ad to test against the winner, and repeat that process until you find a winning ad that gives you consistently high click-through rate. So once you have that all set up, it's time to make sure that your ad relevancy is optimized. And the best way to do that is to create tightly focused ad groups around high volume keywords. So go back to your settings tab, click on keywords, and look for keywords that have a below average ad relevance score. So hover over the little box here, and if you see below average, what you wanna do is click on the green circle and pause that keyword within that ad group. Then you wanna copy that keyword and create a new ad group around this keyword. And to do that, click on the campaign that the ad group is under and click on new ad group. And then you wanna create that ad group around that keyword. So in this case, it would be called white hat SEO techniques. And you could actually optimize this ad around that specific keyword. So you put something like white hat SEO techniques revealed. You could also include that in the headline to further increase the ad relevancy and the quality score for this keyword. Then you wanna add that keyword and any very, very closely related keywords to this box put your default bid, and then click Save Ad Group. Now, when you look at the quality score for that keyword, you can see that it went from five out of 10 to six out of 10, and the ad relevance went from below average to average because the ad matches that keyword better. So finally, we're gonna talk about how to optimize landing page experience. And your first step is to see where your traffic is going and what landing pages that they're landing on. So to do that, click on the Ads tab, hover your cursor over one of the ads and click on the blue link and that'll take you to the landing page that your paid traffic is going to. Then you wanna check whether or not the content of the page matches the keyword that the person is searching for. So for someone searching for white hat SEO techniques, you'd wanna make sure that the keyword white hat SEO techniques appears in the title of the page and within the content. So for example, if you had someone searching for head tennis rackets, you'd want to send them to a page specifically about head tennis rackets, not about tennis rackets in general. And the more targeted your landing pages are, the better that part of your quality score will be. So that's all there is to optimizing your quality score. As you can see, the most important thing is to have ads that get a high click-through rate and that are relevant to the person's search. And then when they click on your ad and land on your page, you want to make sure that landing page is very targeted. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.